Our goal is to develop sport management games for all the major sports in the world. Right now we have two games out, which are Volley Square and Soccer Square. And this presentation will focus on Soccer Square, which is the game that we're currently working on upgrading. Uh, soccer Square is a soccer management game that places the user inside an immersive world. This you see here is the Sports City, which acts as a menu to access all the main game features, like setting your team's lineup, uh, training your players and training them on the soccer market, in order to compete with your friends and other users to championships, tournaments, and friendly matches. In fact, one of the main additions to this new version are real-time friendly matches versus online users. So when a user logs in uh, Soccer Square, he will see a list of uh, online users and can challenge them, or he can ask the system for a random opponent. Once the users are paired, the game starts simultaneously on both machines, and the users can see the game as it's streams and they can also use an in-game chat system to exchange comments about the match. Uh, based on the outcome of the match, uh, the users will go on a weekly and monthly ranking which they will try to climb. This is why it is essential to have a multi-platform game that will allow users to play anytime and anywhere from browsers, phones, tablets, you name it. Uh, so we don't sell any feature inside the game. Our game is freemium, it's free to play. But we do sell one, one thing, we sell time. So all the main game actions inside the game require a certain amount of time to complete, such as player trainings, uh, player recoveries from injuries, and uh, soccer market transfers. And users can speed up this time by spending our virtual currency, which they can either purchase inside the game, or they can earn through game achievements, like playing a lot, or uh, by doing performing social actions, such as inviting friends to the game, or uh, publishing their game achievements to uh, social networks such as Facebook or Twitter. Moreover, our go-to-market strategy involves real soccer clubs who can easily log into our dashboard, uh, customize the game to their needs, uh, and then they can embed it on their Facebook fan page or website and have their users play a fully customized version of Soccer Square. Um, by speaking to the teams, we found out that minor league teams are interested in monetizing off of the users by earning revenue shares from the micropayments that users do inside the game, while major league teams are interested in using the game as a communications platform towards their users. So as I said, uh, we're working on this game uh, to improve the metrics that we've um, so far had. Uh, to this day, we have seen about 53,000 registered users with a day one retention rate of 34%, a day 7 retention rate of 23% and a day 28 retention of 14% with an average daily time on the game of 20 minutes. This allowed us to close our first partnership with Italia Online, who is the leader in the Italian web market with 18 million monthly active users and who is going to be our first publisher to launch the game uh, on the Italian market this coming fall. Moreover, we managed to raise uh, two investments um, $170,000 investment from Italian entrepreneurs and uh, a $28,000 investment, of course, from game founders. And uh, we've also won, um, uh, in uh, March 2012, the Start Cup uh, uh, Italia Web 2.0 Idea of the Year Prize and the Startup Weekend in Turin. And uh, this just in, latest news, is that we're running up for uh, Best European Startup from the Tech All Stars competition. Uh, of this year. So uh, this is uh, our wonderful team. Uh, we have known each other since high school. We have worked together on several university projects throughout the years and we have now been working at Sportsware Games for the past two years. Alex on your uh, right is um, um, has a master's degree in artificial intelligence and he's the mind behind the, the game engine algorithm. Gabriele is our producer, uh, he has a degree in business process management, he focuses mainly on the business aspects of the company. Uh, finally, myself, I have a degree in computer science and I'm about to master in virtual reality. Uh, and I'm fluent in five languages, which are English, French, Italian, PHP, and JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, as I said, uh, Sportsquare Games is... Um, is a platform upon which we can easily build games for all the other major sports in the world. So we're looking for investors, publishers, and partners. So from investors, we're looking to raise about $500,000 in order to enlarge our team, 
and uh, come up with new games in the pipeline. Uh, we're looking for publishers to expand uh, and promote Soccer Square and future games worldwide. And finally, we're looking for partners like uh, Real Sport Clubs to use the white label system I described earlier. So, um, this wraps it up. Thanks very much for your attention. These are our contacts, and uh, I'll gladly take any questions you may have. Questions? It's a pretty interesting uh, uh, question you brought up. Uh, we've um, uh, the 53,000 users uh, I was talking about are on the current version of Soccer Score, not the upgrade we're working on, of course. And uh, it's uh, mostly a uh, male population. Uh, surprisingly enough, we launched in Italy. Uh, well, we launched on, on Facebook because our first game is a, is a Facebook application. Um, and but we've had a, a lot of users from. Um, uh, Indonesia and, uh, uh, and uh, Malaysia and all those countries. Um, a lot of users from Italy as well. Uh, the age range was 25 plus, uh, 25 to 40 uh, mainly, I would say. Yeah. So, and that's why we are working on this upgrade also to target better those users. So, uh, with new and improved graphics, which appeal more to them. Uh, with uh, all the things that uh, hardcore management game gamers are looking for, uh, all, but not too technical, so not, not too many charts and tables. We're also approaching it in a different way, more uh, uh, graphical way, uh, and has to look professional and all. We, we've done some testing as well, so uh, we got feedback from the users, and they're saying we're hitting it, they like it a lot better. Plan on that. Any more questions? No. Yes. Two. Yeah, I know that most of the, or, or at least the European soccer club teams are pretty difficult to handle. And sometimes they have like crazy licensing programs and so on. What are the main challenges that you face when talking to them, and how can you avoid these issues in the future to guarantee scalability? Oh, uh, that's. Uh that's a very good question. Too many questions, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, have, I'll tackle one at a time. Um, difficulties in talking to the big teams? Well, it's because they're big, right? Right. <laughs> and we're small. But uh, we're in contact with some of them. Um, we've spoken so far with both minor league teams uh, and major league teams. We have actually four appointments in the month of June uh, with. Um, two Series B teams in Italy and two Series A teams in Italy. Uh, thanks to um, uh, a contact we have in Italy who's uh, into the soccer world and is uh, arranging all these appointments for us. Uh, so we're trying to get through to them one at a time and uh, showing them, of course, the, the, the uh, beta we have that we're planning to launch at the end of June. Uh, and uh, hopefully get them interested and then go and start spreading. And uh, what was the other question? Well, sort of, uh, I mean, what, what have been the main challenges and how can you prevent those uh, in the future, right? Because if you need to partner with one club at a time, I mean, that's going to be difficult to expand. Or uh, Are you going to have a free version uh, completely not related to a, a specific summer team? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, the game itself is actually a, a white label game, okay. which means it is uh, a game on its own. So when you sign up, uh, you get, uh, um, if you don't come from uh, AC Milan's fan page, but you actually just type in uh, soccersquare.com, you see. will get uh, uh, an unbranded version of the game. Okay. Whereas, uh, and you can play that, and it's perfectly fine. You get uh, your virtual team with the virtual player names. Uh, whereas if you do come from uh, a team's channels, uh, you still get, you don't get the actual uh, player names because we have different plans for, for the player name licensing. Uh, once we do get a hold, uh, um, uh, we do get permission to use uh, the name Lionel Messi, for instance, we will not use that as a player name inside the, the roster, the actual team. 
but uh, we plan on using those names uh, for our cards because we're going to have a, a training system based on cards. So uh, basically you can uh, train your players with uh, Lionel Messi's shot. So that's where Lionel Messi's name appears and, uh, and so forth. Because we have seen that users are just as engaged in having fake player names, like made up names, as they would with, uh, with, uh, real, with real player names. Uh, so you, you will have a, a, a team that has like the colors of Barcelona, like Barcelona jerseys, but you won't have actual Barcelona player names. It's like endorsed by Barcelona. Okay. Okay. Yes? Uh, uh, two questions. I played a game before called Patrick, which is brother of Bada Dotto. And they do, uh, I guess, similar type of like team management strategy. Yeah. So I was wondering how you guys could do that. That's question number one. And second, you guys try to sell uh, the space for ads on those banners, let's say, like usually it happens in the stadiums, or even ads like inside the game, and people score or like on the jerseys. Do you guys try to monetize on that? Or all right. Um, well, to answer your first question, uh, what differs us from a hat trick is uh, well, mainly we have a hat trick uh, uh, as I've seen it to be a very uh, text based game, like very textual. Uh, uh, and graphics hasn't changed much in the past forever. And we plan on making a game that's like really engaging to, to, to see, to, to play. And also we have this uh, um, uh, engaging feature, plan being a killer feature, which are the real-time matches I've mentioned earlier. So uh, basically you don't have to wait for whatever league day it is you have to play. Uh, when you log into the game, you can just uh, play a friendly match, either asynchronously versus uh, someone who's not online, which is what we, you can do in the current version of Soccer Square as well. On top of that, we're going to add this uh, synchronous uh, a friendly match system where you actually get to see who's online, challenge if they accept, the match starts and you both see it at the same time, you, you comment it, you, we, we, we've tested and uh, we found it to be a very engaging feature, lots of fun uh, and, and that also like uh, has a competitive edge to it because uh, based on how good you get at, uh, at friendly matches, how, how often you win, you will try to climb the chart and hit the top so you can get rewards for that. Uh, that's also uh, like all the new features we're implementing. And um, your other question was? Like, um, in terms of revenue, like as you were saying, you were saying you guys are oh, yeah. primarily selling the sky, but would you consider like putting ads on those banners, like usually the stadiums and soccer teams they do professionally also, and putting ads on the jerseys or playing that like oh. after the goal or yeah, uh, well, sure, that's, uh, that's an option. It uh, would depend, uh, we could insert that in the, in the customized version of the game, for sure. So, we, if uh, we are using, uh, if you're playing uh, AC Milan's version of Soccer Square, you would see AC Milan's uh, sponsors' logos appear around the stadium and all of that. Because that could bring you some additional revenue. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do we have yes. another question? Uh, perhaps, no. Not really, so thank you.